Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. As you might be able to tell by the deck in the middle of the baseball diamond, we are here with Back to Basics Baseball. Today's matchup will be the 1994 Yankees against the 1969 Washington Senators. We're doing it just with the PDFs. So that is something that we're going to be doing today. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I think it's going to be tough, but I have my score sheets here. So we will go over the lineup first for the visiting 94 New York Yankees. They will have Bernie Williams leading off and playing center field. Don Mattingly at first base. Wade Boggs batting third and playing third base. Danny Tartable, the cleanup hitter, and at DH. Paul O'Neill in right field. Luis Polonia will be in left. Mike Gallego at second. Mike Stanley at catcher. And Kevin Elster will be the shortstop today for the Yankees. And that lineup will be facing Joe Coleman of the Senators. So, uh, and Joe Coleman is a C pitcher. So without further ado, let's get on with the game. And this will be the card, this side right here will be the card I'm reading off of, not this side. So people, I mean, sometimes I think in the past, some people were confused and they thought I was reading off of this card. So we flip it over and we see that a C pitcher gets a swing. So we look at the batter's section in the swing and um, Williams is a batting B, and a B gets a single. So we have a uh, base hit for Bernie Williams. And that is a hit off of Coleman. Next batter is Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly on a C gets a swing. He is a B, or an A, wait, what is he? A B batter. He's a B batter and a B batter gets a walk if um, he is an A, B, or C at walking and he is. So he gets a walk and uh, now there's two runners on. The Yankees are already causing problems for Coleman. That brings to the plate Wade Boggs. Great hitter Wade Boggs was most all of his career C pitcher gets a swing and we refer to the batter and he is a B batter and uh, he gets a walk if he is an A walking and he is so the bases are loaded Coleman is already in a lot of trouble I mean a lot of trouble he's walked to and allowed a hit to the first three batters he's faced and that brings Tartable to the plate and uh, they're going to play the infield back. It's still early in the game. He gets a swing. And uh, <clears throat> Tartable is a, a, C, a C batter. And he, a C batter gets a single double asterisk. So he... Oh, wait a minute. Did I pick the card for the swing? I don't know if I did. Let's see. Uh, no, I didn't. No. So a C batter gets a balk if the pitcher is a D or an F at balking. And that I'm going to have to look up. Balk if the pitcher is a D or an F. Uh, and he isn't. So it isn't. So we'll just go to the next card and try to resolve it. C is a double. <clears throat> so that's even, that's really even worse. Knocks in two runs. Runners advance two bases on it. And that scores Bernie Williams. And it also scores Mattingly. And it sends Boggs to third base. And Tartable's up at second. He's given up a hit. And so far, two earned runs. And the next batter is... Paul O'Neill and um, 
against a C pitcher gets a pop a pop fly to left field. So there's one away. Um, fly out to seven. That's one out. Next batter is Polonia. He against the C pitcher. He gets a strikeout if he's an A, which he probably is not. He isn't. So um, anything else? I think we um, are. And there's two out. And the next uh, batter is. Mike Gallego and Gallego against a C pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C at striking out and he isn't. So we refer to the uh, batter's card and he is Polonia is, or Gallego is an A batter and that is a pop out to second base. Pop out to four. The Yankees, though, score two runs there, and it's two nothing going to the bottom of the uh, inning. Now the, the the lineup for the Senators is Del Unser, leading off and playing center field. Mike Epstein at first, Lee May in right, Frank Howard at DH, Ken McMullen at third base, Ed Stroud in the left, Ed Brinkman at shortstop. Paul Casanova at catcher, and Tim Cullen at second base. And that lineup will be facing Jimmy Key, left-hander Jimmy Key. So they will, they will lead off with Unser. Jimmy Key is a C pitcher, just as Coleman is. He gets a swing on Coleman's card, and Coleman is a B-plus batter. And he gets a home run if he's an A if if he's an A plus or a double. Oh, if he's <clears throat> if he's an A plus at home run, which he is not, so he gets a double. So Joe Coleman leads off with a hit of his own, a big hit, and Jimmy Key allows a hit. Uh, the next batter is Mike Epstein, and Mike Epstein against the C gets a swing, and uh, the swing is he is a B batter. He gets a strikeout if the pitcher's a B, C, D, or F, or if, wait, if he, yes, he is, so he strikes out. And that is the first strikeout of the game, and Jimmy Key has it. That brings Lee May up. Lee May against the C pitcher gets a swing. Um, and he is a B plus batter. And he gets an injury with a question mark. We pick the card for the injury. And C is no. So he is not injured. So that, that's two down. Or wait, no, we have to pick the card C resolve to resolve the play. He is a, um, a B-plus batter. He gets a single double asterisk, so that knocks in a run. Lee May knocks in a run after not surviving being not injured. And Key gives up a hit and an earned run. Neither pitcher having a very good day here. Frank Howard. Against a C pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a B-plus batter, and a B-plus batter gets a single double asterisk. So Jimmy Key is in as much trouble as um, as Joe, Joe Coleman got into. Uh, the next batter is Ken McMullen. Ken McMullen against a, a C pitcher gets a swing, and he is uh, a C-plus batter. C plus batter gets a fly out to right field, and we will check for the um, we'll check to see if a run scores on that. Okay, so the um, 
Run does score, or the, uh, the man on third does score on that. That brings up Ed Stroud to the plate. And Ed Stroud against the C pitcher, he gets a swing, and Stroud is a C batter. And a C batter gets a fly out to center, and that's the third out. But uh, two runs come in for the Senators, and they tie the game. And we go to the top of the second inning. Top of the second inning, and Mike Stanley is up for the Yankees. Against the C pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a um, an A batter, which is kind of surprising. And he gets a double. So both pitchers are really <clears throat> pitching batting practice here, apparently. Coleman gives up his fourth hit. Next batter is Kevin Elster, who was a bad hitter. Against the C, he gets a fly out to center. So there's one out. One down, and uh, that brings up Bernie Williams, top of the order again. Against the C, he gets a fly out to right field. There's two down, and uh, Don Mattingly is up, and he gets a swing against a C pitcher. And he is an A batter, and that is a ground out to shortstop. Six to three, and the Yankees go pretty harmlessly there. They get no runs. We go to the bottom of the second inning here. Uh, and uh, first batter for Washington is Ed Brinkman. <clears throat> Against the C pitcher, he gets a swing. Brinkman is a C batter, and he gets a walk if he's an A at walking, which I would tend to doubt he is, and he is not. So that is a ground out. <coughs> ground out six to four. And um, Paul Casanova comes up against the C. He gets a walk if... if uh, the uh, pitcher is a B, C, D, or an F at walk with walk, at the walk rating. And he is. So, with one out, there is a man aboard. That's Casanova with a walk. Jimmy Key not doing really well here. Um, Tim Cullen is up against the C. He gets a ground out to second base. We will check it for a double play. And it is actually a fielder's choice, so uh, the runner is safe, or the batter is safe at first, the runner is out at second, and there are two down. And uh, Del Unser is the batter against the C, he gets a ground out to shortstop, though with an error check. Um, ground out to shortstop with an error check. And... Uh, he is um, probably going to be out. Um, he is a B, so that is an out. So six to four. We go to the top of the third in a 2-2 tie game. And um, Wade Boggs is the batter. Against a C pitcher, he gets a short fly to center field and he's out. The next batter is Tartable. Against a C, he gets a strikeout. Just a plain strikeout, and that's the first strikeout for Joe Coleman, I believe, in this game. And then against a C pitcher, the next guy is O'Neill, and he gets a swing, and he is an A-plus batter, and an A-plus gets a ground out to the pitcher with an error check. We take a look at the error for the pitcher, and he is um, a B, and so he's out. So he is out, one to three. Wait a minute, the wrong guy. One to three, and the Yankees go pretty quickly there in the, in the third, and it is two to two, bottom of the third, and you have uh, Mike Epstein up. 
Mike Epstein is the first batter against a C pitcher. He gets a strikeout if he is a strikeout A, and he is not. So um, that is a that's a ground out to second base, and uh, Epstein is out six six to three. Yeah, that that was six to three. Um, the next batter is May. He gets a strikeout if the pitcher's an A or a B at a striking out. And I, again, he is not. So it is a ground out to third base, five to three. And there's two down. And Frank Howard is the batter against a C. He gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or C. He is not a strikeout. So that is a ground ball third base. So he goes out five, three. And the Senators go really quickly there. Um, top of the fourth inning, and uh, we have Lewis Polonia, I believe, for the Yankees as the batter. Against a C pitcher, he gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D. He probably is. He is a D, so that is a strikeout. Polonia strikes out, and Coleman gets his second strikeout of the game. Next batter is a swing. That's Gallego um, getting a swing, and Gallego is a um, a D batter, a D batter. So a D batter gets ground out to second base. So that is uh, that's four to three. And Mike Stanley is up against the C pitcher. He gets a swing. And um, he is an A batter, and that is a single. Coleman giving up another hit. We got another Yankee aboard. That's the fifth hit allowed for Coleman. And the next batter is Elster, and he gets a swing against a C pitcher. And uh, he is an F batter, and an F batter gets a single double asterisk. Well, that's pretty good for an F batter. That moves Stanley to third, and um, and it brings up the top of the order again with Bernie Williams. And against a C, he gets a swing. He is a B plus batter, and uh, a B plus batter gets a ground out to first base. So he is out one to three, or three to one, three to one. We'll we'll just call it three to one. And the Yankees don't get any runs in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Senators are up, and I'm going to reshuffle the deck. All right, bottom of the fourth, and uh, Ken McMullen is the batter. Against the C, he gets a ground out to third base. So he goes five to three. Um, Ed Stroud gets a swing against the C. A C pitcher, and he is a batter um, C, and a C gets a ground out to second base with an error check. Um, the second baseman error check, and that is um, he, they're all outs. It doesn't matter, so it's uh, four to three. And Ed Brinkman is up. Ed Brinkman against the C gets a strikeout. So Jimmy Key with the K. Second strikeout for Jimmy Key, and no runs come across for the Senators. We remain in a tie game going to the top of the fifth. And Don Mattingly is the batter. Against the C, he gets a swing. He is an A batter. And he gets a um, strikeout if the pitcher is a B, C, D, or an F at striking out. Um, and uh, he is. So that is a, that's a strikeout at the top of the fifth for Coleman, who hasn't been sharp, but he's been good enough so far. See, that is a swing for Boggs, and he is an A-plus batter. Yes, he's an A-plus batter, and he gets a single one asterisk. So it doesn't really matter. Nobody's on, but that is another hit Coleman has allowed. That's the seventh hit for Coleman that he is allowed. And uh, 
with with uh, Boggs aboard. Tartable's up. Tartable gets a walk against the C pitcher. It's just a plain, everyday, all-out walk. An all-out walk. And, uh, yeah, Coleman is probably winding down here. Um, you got Paul O'Neill against the C. He gets a walk if he's a B, C, D, or an F at walking people, the pitcher. And um, he is... So the bases are loaded. Coleman finds himself again with the bases loaded. And um, they're going to see if he can get out of this. There's one out. So if he can get a double play or a pop out or something like that, he gets a ground out to second base. That might be a double play. And uh, it is, no, it's a fielder's choice. And they had the infield back. So... Um, the uh, runner is out at second, and the run at third did score. Runner at second goes to third. Batter is safe. Two out, and uh, that was a fielder's choice that scored an uh, scored a run, and the Yankees take a three to two lead. On Joe Coleman, and the next batter is Gallego. And that is a ground out to shortstop with an error check. And the shortstop for the uh, for the team is an A. So, or wait a minute, uh, let's check his error. His error is a B, so he's still good. Uh, error B is an out. So that is the final out. He goes six to three, and the Yankees score another run, and they take a three to two lead. And the Senators come up with Paul Casanova in the bottom of the fifth. And that is a, against the C, it's a short fly to center field. So Casanova flies out. Uh, against the C pitcher, the next batter, Tim Cullen, gets a strikeout. Two away, and that is a strikeout for Jimmy Key. And Del Unser gets a swing, and he is a batter B+. Plus. A B plus gets a ground out to second base, and so he is out 6-3. to three. Or no, 4-3. to three. Four to three. And no runs come across for the Senators. Top of the sixth, there's going to be a pitching change for the Senators. Put in um, Daryl Knowles. Daryl Knowles is a pitcher B, and he is a walk. Let's get him all done here. CD. All right, you can close the book on Coleman. He went five innings, allowed seven hits, walked four, and allowed three earned runs. And he is losing 3-2 currently, and Daryl Knowles is now on, with the Yankees sending up Mike Stanley in the top of the sixth. He is now facing a B pitcher, and against a B, he walks if his walk rating is a D or an F. And it is not, so he grounds out. Um, and let's see, the uh, ground out is so Stanley lines out, we'll say the second base. Next batter is a um, against a B, it's a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking out, and he is. Striking people out. So Elster strikes out, and uh, that's two down. And then we go back to the top of the order with Bernie Williams. Against a B, he strikes out if he's an A, B, C, or, a, or an A, B, or a C at striking out. And he is not. So that is an out, and that is um, a line out to the infield. So it's going to be 5-3. 
we'll just call it 5-3, or no, line out 5, line out 5. Or, uh, I got the wrong, I was up on the wrong side of the sheet. So anyway, um, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, no runs come across for the Yankees in the sixth. Um, it's been a while since I played this game, so I am a little rusty at it. Um, still going up against Jimmy Key, who is a C, and he gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out. And he is. So that is a strikeout for Epstein, and it's another strikeout for Key. One away. Uh... Swing for Lee May, and he is a B-plus batter, and a B-plus batter gets a balk if he is a C or if the pitcher is a C or a D, and he is, but that doesn't really matter, so we'll pick another card and look at a B-plus batter because there's nobody on base, um, and that's a double. So Lee May gets a double. And Jimmy Key giving up a, his third hit, which isn't that bad, but he has given up two runs. Still has a 3-2 to two lead, though. Gets to C, that's a fly out to left field. Howard flies out to left. There's two down, and Ken McMullen is the batter. Against the C, he gets a strikeout. If he's an A strikeout, he isn't, but that will be an out. Um... And that is going to be a uh, line out. So there is uh, no runs coming across for the um, Senators. We go to the top of the seventh with the Yankees up. Again, still against Knowles. He is a B, so he walks if he's an F, which he uh, is not an F walk. So uh, we will refer to the batter section. And... Um, this is Mattingly, who is an A batter, yes. So he gets a single. So Mattingly with a hit, and uh, that is a, a hit allowed by Knowles. And uh, a B gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C strikeout. And he isn't. So that is going to be a ground out, and that is a, a fielder's choice. No, it's not a fielder's choice. It's a uh, runner's advance one base. So, I mean, it still is really technically a fielder's choice, but runner's advance one base. And um, that is a, we'll say that's four to three. Tartable is up. Against the B, he gets a strikeout if the pitcher is an A or a B, and he isn't. So um, that is an out. And that is an AD, which is, again, runner's advance. Two away. We'll say that again is 4-3. to three. That would be a typical out that would advance the runner. <coughs> Two down, runner at third. Paul O'Neill up against a B. He gets a line out to third base. So there's a line out five. And uh, no run score for the Yankees, although they did come close. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And uh, they're going to make a pitching change. Key is going to come out. And they are instead going to bring in... Um, All right, the Yankees are bringing in Steve Howe. If you remember, he had a drug problem. That's the biggest thing I can remember about Steve Howe. He was very good, but he had a drug problem. And he will be pitching. He is an A pitcher. So the Senators are up against um, some really stiff odds here to lead off the seventh with Ed Stroud. Against an A, he gets a fly out to left field. That is a range check on the left fielder. And um, let's see, the left fielder is a, um, he's an A. <laughs> and that is an out. So that is a fly out to seven for Ed Stroud. 
Next batter against an A pitcher. He gets a fly out to center field. This time with an is that an air check or a, it's a it's an air check. Yeah, fly out to center field with an air check, and he is an air C. So we will pick the card, and he makes an error. So um, Polonia get or uh, Brinkman gets on by an. E A. Next batter is Casanova against an A. He gets a walk if he's a D or an F at walking. He isn't, so we will refer to the batter section or the batter card. And he is a batter D. Wait a minute. D, yes, he is a batter D. And that's a ground out to first base. We will see what kind. That is a fielder's choice, so they get the lead runner and Casanova is safe. And uh, there's two down and Tim Cullen is up. And Tim Cullen gets a uh, strikeout against an A pitcher. So um, Howe was very effective for that inning. We go to the top of the eighth and they are going to, the uh, Senators are going to make a pitching change because Knowles had a uh, an inning week of weakness of two. Right, Bob Humphreys is coming on for the Senators. He is a C pitcher, I believe. Yeah, he's a C pitcher just like uh, Joe Coleman was. So um, they will be the Yankees will be uh, or the uh, wait a minute, where are we? Top of the eighth. Yeah, uh, the Yankees will be leading off with Polonia against him. He gets a swing against a C pitcher and Polonia is a um, an A batter. He was always a good hitter. And he gets a single. So the first batter that greets Humphreys gets a base hit off of him. And uh, that brings up Gallego against a C pitcher. He gets a swing Gallego is a D batter and a D gets a home run if he's a B plus at home run or better and he um, I'm gonna guess he he uh, he isn't he's not a B plus or better he's a B which is really kind of crazy even for Gallego but um, so he doesn't get that. He gets a double, a double three bases. So he does knock in a run. Humphreys comes in and uh, promptly gives up two hits and a run. Runner at second and Mike Stanley is up and Mike Stanley gets a swing against the C pitcher and he is a, uh, a D, um, no, an a, he's an A batter, and he gets a single, a, a single, and it advances the runner two bases. So that is a base hit and scores another run. And uh, this is, it's crazy. Um, Humphreys just can't get an out here. And the next batter is Kevin Elster. Elster against a C gets a strikeout if he's an A or a B at striking people out and he is not by a long stretch and so we will see we'll check for the out and that's an AD that is a runner's advance one base ground out so um, runner at second with one away and back to the top of the order with Bernie Williams he gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out. And he isn't. He is, turns out he's an F. So uh, we will do the, we'll refer to the pitcher card. And um, is that right? Or the, I mean the batter's card. B plus batter. And that is a ground out to shortstop with an, um, a range check. Range check on the shortstop. He is an A for range. Pick the card and he is an he's out. That's two away.
and we go to the bottom or and no that's there's that's only two outs two outs and Mattingly is up and against the C he gets a swing and he is uh, an um, A batter and an A batter gets a home run if he is a D if the pitcher is a D at allowing home runs or it's a deep fly to center field a D or worse is and he's a D actually he's a D so that's a two run home run for Mattingly and knocks in two more runs well the Senators just really fell apart here and Wade Boggs is up swing and he is a an A plus batter he gets a strikeout if he is an F at striking out which he probably is not and he isn't so we'll pick for the uh, ground out or for the out and it's going to be a uh, an infield it's a ground ball but he's out mercifully the Yankees go out there but they do get four runs in that inning and we go to the bottom of the eighth all right the uh, Yankees are bringing in Bob Whitman and uh, he will face in the uh, bottom of the eighth, he will face Del Unser. And Bob Wickman is a B pitcher. So a B pitcher allows a swing, and Del Unser is a B-plus batter. And he gets an injury with a question mark, so we'll see if there's an injury. Um, otherwise, it's a home run if the pitcher is an F at home allowing home runs um, the injury is no so he doesn't get injured and um, I don't know what Wickman is at allowing home run or, uh, or as, as a pitcher he's he's uh, that's an out so that'll be a deep fly out to center field Next batter against the B, he gets a swing. And this is Epstein. Epstein with a swing, and he is a B batter. He gets a hit by pitch. So he is a board hit by pitch. Lee May is up. Against the B, he gets a pop out to shortstop. So there's a pop out two six two down and Frank Howard is up against the B he gets a line out to short so the Senators get nothing there they are losing by five runs it is four five seven to two yeah or yes seven to two they're losing by five we go to the top of the ninth um, Humphreys might as well stay out there I mean I'm not even gonna bother um, the better for the Yankees is in the ninth is Tartable and against a what is he a C Humphreys is a C and against a C he gets a ground out to second base so Tartable with a ground out four to three there's one down against the C pitcher he gets a ground out to third base with um, an error check and the shortstop is a B at errors and uh, that's an out so that is going to be six to three and there's two down quickly Humphreys decided this inning he was going to get everybody out uh, that is a line out to shortstop line out to six so or wait a minute I had it recorded in the wrong place line out to six the Yankees go one two three but the Senators here in the ninth are going to need five runs and they're going to start that off with Ed Stroud and we are going we're going with um, 
Wickman again, he is only a one inning reliever. I looked it up. So he, what happens is now he becomes a C pitcher. He was a B, he becomes a C because he is um, past his inning of weakness. So against the C pitcher, that's a pop out to shortstop for McMullen. There's one down. Ed Stroud is up, and against the C, he gets a strikeout. And uh, Wickman strikes a guy out. And that leaves it all up to Ed Brinkman, and Ed Brinkman against the C gets a strikeout. And so the Senators do go down in defeat by the score, the final score of uh, seven to two. The winning pitcher was, I believe, Steve Howe, right? Uh, let's see, after six. No, the winning pitcher is still um, is still Jimmy Key. Jimmy Key gets the win, Howe gets a hold, and um, Wickman doesn't get a save because there was too too many he had too many run lead. Um, and Joe Coleman, of course, will be saddled with the loss. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.